Actually, let's let's talk department. Like, what is a late today? What does today. it look like for a promotions department at a label? All right, so a promotions department. So basically, a promotions department's main job is to get your song on the radio. That is, you know, and you know, you might think, oh, like radio side, but radio still plays a huge part in our artist success, right? So, like when you look at those Billboard numbers, being at Billboard number one, radio still plays a percentage in an artist getting the number one on Billboard, right? And the accolades of like number, you still have top forty radio, you have rhythm radio, you have urban radio, right? And so, like the main job of a label is to basically build the promotion department is to basically build the relationships with the program directors and the DJs to get your song played as many times as they can in a week. So, you know, when those songs are added and if the DJs are playing it, the goal is that consumers will hear the music, Shazam the music and then stream the music, mm-hmm. you know, and that's pretty much the ultimate goal. And, you know, it's basically kind of a thing where, you know, we are, our department mainly touches the community, right? And that's okay. the thing about our department, right? We'll go do a, like a lifestyle event. We might do a listening, album listening party. So those events are mostly held by the promotions department. You know, we might go do a showcase in the neighborhood or the artists might, you know what I'm saying, come to the radio station and do an interview. You know, we're the ones that coordinate that. You know, if, if we have, if the artist is on tour, you know, and people want to go to the tour, we work with radio to give out free tickets, or we go we go do go on site to do the meet and greets and stuff like that. So basically, we're kind of like a liaison for the artists and the community as a whole. Got you. Okay. Okay. So when you talk about radio, by the way, and all of those factors when it comes to your rankings on these charts, is mm-hmm. radio the most heavily weighted out of those still? Um, no, when it comes to, I, at this point, streaming is, is the most that's weighted, but radio plays, I, I want to say, uh, and I have to look on Billboard, I want to say it's about 15 to 20%. It's not as weighted because it's kind of like you have radio, you have streaming, and that's another factor on there as well with the Billboard, where the all is calculated, like Billboard has some type of formula that calculates radio sales. I think they still do like actual unit sales and streaming and then they combine it and then that's how you go on the billboard hot 100 you know like, like right now drake's um I was name, tussie rope not tussie rope uh, what's that tussie tussie slide tussie slide, I said tussie. Yeah. <laughs> the tussie slide is like the number one on billboard and it's getting like heavy radio play right now right mm-hmm. so all of that is is weighed in to to get him that number one slot that he has right now got you Got you. That's that's interesting. Like, so what is your measure of success or the department's measure of success at radio? How can y'all determine y'all hit? Yeah, I mean, so the department itself major goal is to get the song. So so radio itself has their own um chart as well, right? So sometimes you can Google and say, like, you can, like on Billboard, they have a section where it's like the rhythm chart or the urban chart or the top 40 chart, right? So the promotion's goal itself is to get a song all the way up the chart as much as it can. You know, ultimately, they want, we want to get a number one, right? So that's the ultimate goal is to get a number one, the rhythm chart, or the top 40 chart. And basically what that does is just another accolade for the artist. You know, the artist like, oh, I got number one on rhythm, or I got number one on urban radio, which basically means this is the number one song played across all urban radio stations, all rhythm radio stations in the world. Right. So the ultimate goal basically is to get a song all the way up. And for the labels, it's this thing called market share. Right. So at the end of the year or quarterly, you might see the, the billboard might publish a chart like Universal has this much market share. Warner has this much. Sony has this much. Radio plays a part in it and making sure like if you chart a certain position, when you look at how well all the music that was released from that label, They'll say, oh, Def Jam had these many songs to chart in the top 10 or the top five. So they have this much of the market share as a whole. Got you. Got you. And all the labels are vying for market share at the end of the day. Yes. That's basically, like I said, the end of the goal 
every label is fighting for market share because at the end of the day, it all equates back to the bottom line, right? Which is the consumers listening to the music and buying the music and basically, like I said, which, you know, turns into revenue. At the end of the day, it's still a business and they want to make money, right? So you invest your money into radio, so the song is played more, people will hear the song more, DJs will play the song more, people will stream it or buy it or go to the concerts or whatever the case may be, which all you place back to the bottom line, you know? Got you. Got you. Ow.